Good morning, folks. It's okay. You can admit you are sick of me looking forward to the Mercury conjunction with the Sun and promising a solar uptick. I'm sick of saying it myself, and your email suggests the same. Patience pays off. Boom. An M6 solar flare has erupted from the large departing sunspot group, but yet again we have no CME from it. We did take a brief radio blackout during the flare event, but after the surge, the plasma stayed in her seat. There was actually a tiny CME out ahead of that to the right, umbral field snap, not Earth-directed. Looking at the Earth-facing disk reveals not a lot of promise for the coming days of the conjunction. The departing group is losing magnetic complexity, not to mention heading out of sight. But let's use Stereo A to see that we do have active regions incoming. Whether that bigger one a bit behind it makes it around in time will be a good question, and something to watch for. Solar wind density ticked up just before the New Day UTC last night. It added some pressure to the magnetosphere. We took some minor instability. The bigger solar wind concern is the coronal hole situation, and by the way, Solon has the northern extension of the Earth-facing opening as positive blue in contrast to the south, but both Iswa and Gong show them to be joined, both negatively polarized. The next positive hole crests the limb now in green. As you can see, the coronal holes we do have are Earth-facing today. Still waiting for that seismic uptick too as we take a moment to say goodbye to some Earth-sized tornadoes on the sun. Speaking of quakes, the unusual location rumbles continue as this is number 3, 4, and 5 on the above average list for North America the last two days. Mid-Indian Ridge picked up where the Carlsberg Ridge took the evening off. The Fiji quake actually hit 6 on one reader before being deleted before my eyes and that's above average for New Zealand as well. Today's top stories. A perceived win for GMOs in a packed house in New York where the debate was held and somewhat controlled by the Monsanto rep. If you're like me, this article will make you very angry. Whew, deep breath. Moving on to the latest from the ESO as the extremely large telescope has gotten the green light in Europe. It'll be the largest of its kind. Link is below. Next, can you tell what this is? It's Israel and a major, major oil spill. The photos and info are linked for you below. China, welcome to what the U.S. saw last month. You can actually blame the super typhoon. We'll close the stories with a challenge to the mainstream volcano science. Do you know where mid-plate volcanoes get their power? I didn't. This is a very good read. Well, there's that super typhoon we mentioned. It has weakened slightly as it approaches the Philippines. You can see how its western convergence drew that cold down over China in a big way. Across the Pacific, we've got a major flow out of the Gulf of Mexico, and the western flow of moisture remains to California. Tonight's alerts here begin at the cresting points and spread out as you come north. Not much changes for Europe, still got massive convergences in the North Atlantic and the storm production from Mediterranean lows. Norway still takes the top concern for me as those air masses converging have nothing in common. Southern storms could be stronger tonight as well. There is only one spot to watch down under, these air masses converging along the tail from the low pressure system just west of New Zealand. Storm clouds explode off that line, and it's our primary watch zone down there today. Got some shots of our star to close. It's 5.35 a.m. Eastern Time, and that's the news. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.